Welcome to 10 Easy Steps to an Unraid Server with Robbie Ferguson. I'm the host of Category 5 Technology TV. And if you've been following the show over the past several weeks, you know that uh, we've been looking for a redundant data storage uh, device or software, just a solution for our network so that we have a safe place to store our video files, the massive amounts of, uh, of data that we, that we save on our network because we were tending to run low on space. So what we wanted to do and what we set out to do is something that's a little unique because we weren't looking at a RAID solution, so to speak. We wanted the redundancy of a RAID. However, we wanted to be able to use old hardware, stuff that we've got kicking around from trade-ins, old PCs that are no longer in use. So basically what it boils down to is, of course, the tower, but then the most important component of a, a data storage device anyways is the hard drive. So in this case, we wanted to have multiple hard drives, but as you can see, we've got lots of hard drives that come out of old systems or that are just uh, you know, in-stock hard drives but they vary in their capacity. So we've got everything from a 160 gig hard drive all the way up to a 750 gig. So in that case, RAID, traditional RAID that is, uh, is not going to be sufficient for us because the drive capacities typically have to match. So if you want to go with a RAID solution, if we had five uh, 400 gig drives, then that's, that's one thing. However, because we've got a 160 and a 500 and a couple of 400s laying around and a 750, it's just not it's not going to work under a RAID because then we're going to lose a lot of that capacity. So we set out, you know, looking at all the different options that are out there. And of course, you know, we look at the Drobo and, and the features of that, but then we see the price tag and it's not something that, uh, that we want to go for. So, uh, so what we set out to do and we polled our viewers, uh, we set out to find the ultimate solution for our network attached storage and our redundant storage needs. And that's where Unraid Server comes in. Unraid Server is uh, licensed in three different types, uh, three different types of licensing. Uh, there's the free version, which supports up to three drives, and that's what we're going to be using today. That is to say, one parity drive and two data drives. So that's what we're going to be using for the sake of our demonstration. That, of course, being uh, upgradable. So down the road, if we decide, okay, we want to have more drives, we can step up to the plus edition, which is going to allow us to have six drives. That's going to cost us $70 US, and that gives us one parity drive and five data drives. From there, we can step it up even further to the, the uh, professional edition of Unraid, and that is uh, $120. That gives us up to, uh, looks like 19 drives at this point with the current beta version. Now, we're not going to step into beta versions uh, at this point, but looking forward to the next uh, full release, we're going to be able to support up to 19 data drives one parity drive and one cache drive and that's where things get interesting because the cache drive is going to increase performance on that uh, on that device at this point at the time of the uh, filming of this video uh, the current version uh, supports I believe 16 drives in total so it's somewhere thereabouts in this case again we're just going to go with the free version because we want to do this as cheaply as possible as a demonstration as well as uh, as our entry level into uh, this product once we decide that we want to add more storage uh, we'll need to add another drive, in which case we'll need to purchase that plus or the professional edition license.